VX with a video on how to update the 80 mega chip which sits in top of a DV mega board right for this operation I have my equipment I've got a small screwdriver thin bladed one uh, you can use a smaller watch one than that uh, either a set of tweezers an insertion tool for the uh, IC an Arduino board and a USB lead this and this will come together in a package so uh, it looks a lot and this is just something I'm going to show you in a minute um, if you've got a small screwdriver what you need to do is when it's sat inside the DV Mega if you just put the screwdriver under and lift it up uh, just wiggle it and lift it up slightly that end then go to this side and do the same and then go this side and do the same and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards till you lever the chip out like that jiggle 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 don't go underneath it and prise it right up because you'll bend all the pins so just a little bit outside a little bit outside a little bit outside and you do jiggle 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 and it'll come up without bending the pins or you can use an insertion tool uh, which grips it and pulls it up but uh, anyway we'll come back to that in a minute so once you've got the uh, IC out what you need to do is you need to then go over to the computer so I'll see you on right the side. next step for this uh, doing the firmware update is to open up um, Google Chrome or over your the other web browser and type in Arduino and you'll find it's probably the first one on the top Arduino home so what you need to do is click on it and it opens up the page I'll open it up to a full screen uh, then you need to go up to the software box so put your mouse on software and click on it and it will go to the page you need to scroll down until you see this bit here where it says download the Arduino IDE and it gives you some options here depending on what you're using I'm using Windows so I'm going to use the Windows installer so we go up onto the top and we click on it and then it will ask you if you want to do a donation I am just going to go ahead and download because I've donated before so I'm not going to donate again so I'm just going to go and click just download and you'll notice it'll start to download down there I'll come back when it's finished downloading and explain the next step, step. we need to retrieve the uh, zip file from the download folder or wherever your computer goes to mine is in my download so there it is up in the top there so we need to right click on that and extract files and we're going to put it I'm going to put it on my desktop so I know where it is in a new folder so I shall just go ahead and unzip it and it will take a couple of minutes to do that so I will be back uh, when we're almost finished. done just got a couple of more percentage to go and then we uh, can proceed with the next step right it's finished, uh, finished downloading and here is the folder on my desktop. So what you want to do now is go to my computer, click on uh, this one here, the computer, and you can see I'm highlighting my C drive. If you uh, double click on that, you can see some folders. Now, mine is a 64-bit computer, so what I want to do is click and hold and drag the folder onto the program file because this is a 64 bit if it was a 60 uh, 32 bit it would want to go in the uh, times 86 folder so that is now in there if you double click on that you'll see Arduino 1.85 for Windows uh, double click on it again and again and you can see the program in here this is the bit you want uh, to have a look at now we're not really interested in anything on here you can click on it uh, double click and it will open up but we don't really want to be doing anything with this you can you it will ask you to open up with a firewall we'll accept that and the program is actually up here ready but we're not really interested we don't need that so we can shut that down what we're interested in is the drivers you see there's a driver folder there well we'll come back to that in a minute Right, next step, you want to plug your Arduino in to the USB lead and plug the other end into your computer. Once you've done that, 
I'll come back. I'll turn the light off so you can see the screen better right. again. Once you've uh, plugged your Arduino Uno in via the computer, you want to uh, see, you may get a message come down here saying it's found the right drivers. If it doesn't find it, go down to the start, down the bottom there, click on it, right click on my computer, go to manager, then go to device manager, choose device manager, Now, what you want to be looking for is the comms port. If it comes up with in here, if you click on it, if you can't find the Arduino, it might come up with Arduino with a little lock on it. What you want to be doing is right clicking on it, update driver, choose update driver, go to browse my computer, and you want to be trying to look for you know where we put it in the folder in the my computer so we want to be looking on computer c drive choosing programs file look under the arduino which will be that one there arduino and you want to be next one down drivers so if you just highlight it that is all you need to do click ok and then do next and obviously mine was already in there so it will load the driver in then what you want to do is just go back and, it, and make sure whatever happens make sure it says arduino uno and then a comms port and then you are ready right. to go we can put the arduino aside for a little while you then have to go and load in the x driver program by doing that if you type in dv mega firmware into google You'll probably find these things here. We're looking for this uh, Netherlands one. Here's one of the best ones, DV Mega from the Netherlands. So if you highlight that one, just open this page up to the full page. You want to be clicking on downloads up in that corner there. So put your mouse on downloads, click on it, and you've got a whole heap of uh, different things. Now we're really interested in this bottom one here. So you want to go ahead and uh, download that into your computer and also this firmware version 3.18. So if you click those, they'll be down in your downloads folder, extract it, run the X, uh, X loader, and then we'll come back in a second. Right, I'm now going to run my X loader, which I've got in my start menu. And I'll move this into the center of the screen. And this is the X loader. Right, first of all, you need to go and find where you put in your DV Mega uh, file it's probably going to be in your downloads but if you put it on I've got mine on main screen so if I choose desktop so I'm going to be looking into desktop and I'm going to look down for the file which is there DV Mega RH V318 Uno so we've got that in the top field the second field down is you want to be choosing out of all of these drop down menus um, you want to be choosing the one which says a Raspberry Pi field 80 mega 328. If you use any of the chip, then go ahead and do that. But you are using an 80 mega 328, so you want to be downloading that one. Make sure that's in that file. Comms port, well, it came up as 14, so I'm choosing 14. And you want this board rate 115200. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and flash the chip. We'll do that next step. Right. I've got this uh, zero insertion tool here, so I can just go ahead and drop the chip in. On the top of the chip, you've got the little indent. That wants to be going up this end, the opposite end of the Arduino than the USB port. Uh, so what you wanna do is make sure the chip is that way round, goes in the opposite end to there. So it always goes in there. On mine, I just drop the chip in I clamp it down and it's ready to go. You can see a little yellow light on there. We're now going to flash the tool. And if you click on the upload button, you'll see the lights flashing. Just shade that from the light. That's burning onto the chip. Takes a couple of seconds. There you go. That's done. That is now finished. I'll just move the camera around so you can see up on the screen. 
and it says 32074 bytes uploaded and that is ready to go you can now take the chip out of the uh, Arduino Uno and put it back in the DV Mega and then you are finished so that is how to upload the latest firmware onto an Arduino. Once you've got all the software in, you'll never need to mess around with it. All you got to do is open Xloader, uh, stick the chip in, burn it, and job done. It'll only take you a couple of seconds to do it. Uh, we're doing it right from scratch where you haven't got all the stuff involved. So you never need to open the Arduino software. All you'll need to do is download the latest version of the firmware off the uh, Netherlands website and then put the chip in burn it take it out put it back in the Arduino this insertion tool is really really good I'll just take the chip out and I'll just show you what I've done is it'll catch on here if you just buy an insertion tool and drop it straight on the top of the the uh, first black uh, IC chip, chip holder so what I did was I bought uh, an extra chip holder dropped it in glued it in and then put the insertion tool on the top of that because I only ever use this Arduino for burning chips I have got another Arduino which I use for other things but as you can see the first chip holder is too low and it will catch on these uh, two uh, I don't know what they are actually I'm not sure what they are uh, but yeah, I just bought an extra one of these, glued it on the top, then stuck the zero insertion tool on the top. So this is my really, really, I'll just keep this purely for doing Arduinos. Seven threes.